Well, here we are, Sunday, and part two of the LTO bank build. Today, I'm going to cut all of these to length. Then I'm going to mark out, pilot hole drill, one of them, then clamp them together, and use it as a template so that I can template drill all of them. So I only have to mark out one, and then I just swap them out, the other five, and then I'll have all of them pilot hole drilled in no time. Um, yeah, easy peasy. So as long as they're clamped together well and nothing wanders, it should work quite well. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see how this goes. That isn't that great. I'm going to square the end of this and then I'm going to work my way down the bar and cut the other four plates. All right. That's the other three of these cut. And the, uh, they come out pretty straight too. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I use the angle to try and line them up. And uh, yeah, they come up pretty good. So they'll be a lot better than just those cuts. Um, yeah. So, all right. I'm going to go and uh, mark these out. Tough. That is all six of them. Four, five... Six. So there we go. All six of them are cut to length. Now I'm just going to mark this one out and then uh, clamp them together and pilot drill the rest of them. And hopefully that goes well in gee, an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I'll have all the holes drilled, and all I have to do is drill them out to 12 mil, which is will take a while. But I could have them done today. Hopefully, if all goes well, we'll see how it goes. Good progress has been made. I managed to step it up straight from that size to the 12 mil and didn't have any issues. Um, yeah, just as long as I control the feed well, it works really good. So I'm very happy with that. So I wasn't expecting to get this done today, all these holes drilled to 12 mil, and I'm going to have it done fairly soon. Um, each one of these, obviously, I'm countersinking both sides to take the edge off it so it's a bit nicer. Um, the yeah, sinking bit is not super great though, so still a little bit rough, but that'll be taken away in the final polish um, when these things are polished up, because they don't contact. There's super high resistance of this coating on them because they've been sitting around. So when they're polished up, so how polished up, I don't know, they'll probably in the mirror finish, but you know, pretty good. Um, that'll clean them right up and get that crap off, any, any sharp edges and whatnot, so. Yeah, all right. Woo. That's what I get for filming with one hand and holding it the other. I'm not doing that again. Right, I'm going to put the camera down and just get this shit done. That hurts. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. They are all done. Now, there's just one issue. There's five linking plates that have that look like this. Five of these. I have six linking plates and I have zero end plates. Um, didn't quite get to that stage of the planning progress for this, but Good news is, I'm just going to get this one and chop it off there because uh, Combi Base, its LTO bank is just uh, six. It's six. So all I do is chop this off and that can go, and then this will be repurposed. It'll work. It's exactly the same. It's just shorter. So then I've got the five linking bars, which is all good. So there's very little effort wasted. 
Then I just have to make up the two end plates, which will just be those on one side, and then the other side I'll just leave bare for now. Probably eight mil holes for um, a bunch of lugs with eight mil eyes. So, but anyway, I got all this done today, and only to find that pushing through and getting it all done hasn't really finished it. I've just sort of done some of it. So, <laughs> bit of a nice surprise. Uh, anyway, I am done for today. That is more than enough. So, yeah, I'm going to pack it in and clean up all this beautiful mess. Look at all that stuff. Oh, let me tell you, it is everywhere. <sighs> Aluminium really likes to fly around. Anyway, that's it.